Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look as well as learning how to use the Do Not Disturb feature with the iPhone. Let's get started. The Do Not Disturb feature is located in the settings application and by default all the settings are disabled. When you enable the manual mode basically it's going to be on Do Not Disturb and you'll see a little moon actually appear at the top. Now what this does when it's on manual mode is basically silence all notifications, calls, alerts, pretty much anything that's coming through to your phone. You'll still get voicemails, the messages will still go through, but your phone won't light up and it won't make any sounds. This works particularly well when you're in a movie or if you're in a meeting or if you're doing anything pretty much that requires a silent phone. Getting more specific with the settings, you can turn off the manual mode and actually set the scheduled mode to on. What this is going to do is allow you to actually schedule specific times for the Do Not Disturb feature to turn on. So if you have a meeting between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m., you can set up the time and your Do Not Disturb feature will turn on automatically between the time you set up. Moving down one step further, you'll notice there's a section called Allow Calls From. And this is an interesting section because it allows you to actually let certain contacts contact you even while the Do Not Disturb feature is on. You can set it to everyone, no one, favorites, or your groups. Moving down one more step, you'll notice this section called Repeated Calls. Now when it's enabled, it's basically going to give you sort of like a failsafe because if you're in a do not disturb mode and an emergency arises, you're not going to know about it. So basically, if somebody calls you once, it's going to go through to the do not disturb feature. You won't hear it. You won't get any of the notifications. But if that same person calls you within three minutes of the first call, it's going to go through and you'll hear the call and you can attend to the emergency. Lastly, at the bottom here, you'll see it says silence. Now you can set this to always be silent, or you can set it only while the iPhone is locked. So now let's take a look at the do not disturb feature in action. We've got it set to manual mode. And as you see at the bottom, we have it only when the iPhone is locked, will it be silenced? So we'll go ahead and lock the iPhone. I'm gonna make a call here from my computer to my phone. You'll notice nothing is appearing. No sound is coming from the phone. What you're hearing is the speaker from the computer. So I'm going to end the call there, but the call went through and you can see it says missed call right there from that number. And basically what this is doing is silencing it. You see the little moon at the top. You're not going to be disturbed during those times. And basically it helps you if you have meetings or you're in a movie or whatever you may be doing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember, always hit that like button and show your support. It helps me out a ton. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below and feel free to subscribe if you're interested in tech videos. I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.